Hi and welcome to this video tutorial. Today I'm going to talk about Search Status which is a Firefox extension that allows you to see the Google page rank and the Alexa rank of every website that you visit. It also has uh, a lot of other features that I'm going to show you in this video tutorial. The first thing that we want to do is to install this extension. So I'm going to scroll down the page and I'm going to click on the Install Now button. It is going to pop up a window uh, where I again click on install now and as you see Firefox is now downloading and installing this plugin. There we go. So now I just need to click on restart Firefox and as soon as I get the Firefox window I will see that I have here uh, the search status buttons. I have the page rank, the Alexa rank and also uh, the additional features that I'm going to show you. I can decide to change the position of this toolbar. To do that I click on Tools and then Add-ons and as you see on the list I, I have Search Status. I click on the Options button and here I can decide to have it in the Personal toolbar, in the Menu toolbar, in the Nav bar, in the Status bar. Personally I prefer to have it right here so when I type in the website URL I uh, can also see um, the page rank and the Alexa rank without moving the eyes to the bottom of the screen for example. So let's see this plugin in action. I'm going to click on File, New tab and go to Lonely marketer.com which is a blog that I like reading. Uh, as you see in the search status uh, it's going to show up its page rank and Alexa rank. So the page rank of this website is 4 and the Alexa rank is 287,000. I can also open another website for example copywritingmaven.com which is another blog that I like reading and the search status toolbar is going to tell me that this website has a page rank of 4 and an Alexa rank of 243,000. So what you can do is visit for example your competitor's website and see what is their page rank because the higher the page rank is the more likely they are to score high in the search engine results for their major keywords. Uh, also the Alexa rank gives you an idea, a rough idea of the amount of traffic that they receive. For example if your Alexa rank is higher than your competitors that means that you're receiving less traffic than them. On the contrary on the other side if your uh, Alexa rank is lower than your competitors that means that you are receiving more traffic. So this is a very useful plugin and I'm now going to show you uh, the other options that you have available. If you right click on the Alexa rank and you select show traffic details a new tab is going to pop up and here as you see you see a graph of the traffic uh, of this website from basically from this year and what you can do is also add a new website for example let's compare lonelymarketer.com to copywriting maven and then I'm going to click on compare sites so that now you see that the blue line is copywriting maven as you see here and the red one is lonelymarketer.com so you can compare these two uh, website traffic over time and you can do the exact same thing with your competitors and your website. To access the additional functions of the search status toolbar you can right click on this button and here is the list basically. Uh, among these functions the ones that I think are important are the link record so you get the record of all the links on this page uh, you can see the ones that are pointing to external websites or the ones that are pointing to internal pages of, the w of this website. You can also see uh, the nofollow links on this page and the secure links on this page. Another interesting function I think is the keyword density report. So if you insert a keyword, for example copywriting, since this blog talks about copywriting, you click on OK and this is basically the report that you get. As you see the keyword copywriting is highlighted in the, um, in the body of the page and also you see that it's telling you that uh, this keyword appears once in the title 
uh, 15 times in the body, uh, 3 times in H1, H2 and H3 tags and so on. So you can also see the um, density of these keywords in the copy. To show you the last two options that I think are interesting, I'm going to move the window so you can see the entire uh, menu that pops up. So I'm still going to uh, right click on this button and as you see I can get the index pages for the web this website in Google, Yahoo or MSN or all of them at once. I can also see the backward links so basically uh, links pointing to this page in the major search engines as you see. Uh, the links that um, are pointing to this uh, page bar are locating on other websites so basically other website linking to this page and I can do the same thing for the domain name only so the first two uh, function uh, are related to the page itself while uh, the last two are for the domain so uh, we can get for example in Yahoo how many uh, websites are linking to this domain and I'm going to show it to you in this window as you see these are the um, the website that are uh, linking to this domain. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial and I'm actually going to shoot more on the same topic of Firefox extension so this is a good reason to stay tuned on techsavvymarketer.com